Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at what a $600 budget can get you in all brand new components. In our last video, we looked at a $500 gaming PC build, and while the $500 gaming PC build will give you excellent performance on a 1080p monitor, this $600 build will give you a GPU upgrade and double the memory, which will give you a decent boost in performance. This build comes with an Intel Core i3-10100 processor, an MSI GTX 1660 graphics card, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. That combination is good enough to allow you to max out any game you throw at it on a 1080p monitor, and it should deliver a high enough frame rate on most games to where it would be a good idea to pair it with a higher refresh rate monitor. Now, we have discussed the downside of opting for an Intel Core i3-10100 and an H410 chipset motherboard in our $500 build video, as the H410 chipset limits the speed of memory to a maximum 2666 MHz. And with that slower memory speed, the i3-10100 falls slightly behind a Ryzen 3 3100 processor that is paired with faster memory and the same GPU. However, we decided to stick with the i3-10100 though, as the price difference between the two processors and their motherboards and memory are about $15 to $20 in favor of the i3-10100. And as of right now, with the i3-10100 coming in at just under $100 on Amazon, that difference is even bigger. We will benchmark this system with both the i3-10100 with 2666 megahertz RAM and the Ryzen 3 3100 with 3200 megahertz RAM so that you can see if the upgrade to the Ryzen 3 3100 in faster memory will be worth it for you. Along with the i3-10100, GTX 1660, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, this build also comes with an ADATA 480 gigabyte SSD, an EVGA 600 watt bronze power supply, and a Zalman T7 mid tower PC case. So not only do you get a GPU upgrade and double the memory on this build over our $500 build, but you also get double the storage space, a better case, and a bigger power supply. It should be noted that while we did use a Zalman T7 in this build, it is no longer available on Amazon. One solid alternative is Zalman's S2, which is also a similar style mid-tower case that comes in at about the same price and comes with a tempered glass side panel. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that although the ASRock motherboard we chose says it's a Micro ATX motherboard, it is actually much smaller than traditional Micro ATX motherboards. This isn't too big of a deal, but if aesthetics are important to you, the smaller Micro ATX motherboard does look funny in a mid-tower case, as you'll see in a moment. But in any case, let's check out the build process on the system, and then we'll get into the benchmarks.
As you can see from the benchmarks, this $600 build is able to deliver ideal performance on a 1080p monitor. And also, as you can see from the benchmarks, the Ryzen 3 3100 and the 3200 MHz memory are able to give a small increase in performance over the i3-10100 and 2666 MHz memory. Again though, that will cost you at least $20 more or so to jump up to the Ryzen 3 3100. As I do try to stick to a tighter budget, that would put me quite a bit over $600. But if you don't mind stretching your budget, it wouldn't be a bad option to consider opting for the Ryzen 3 3100 and faster memory. Although with that extra $20, if you stuck with the i3-10100 and 2666 MHz RAM, you could potentially bump up to a GTX 1660 Super, a GTX 1660 Ti, or an RX 5600 XT, and those options will give you an even bigger increase in in-game performance. So whether you're sticking to a strict $600 budget or you're willing to stretch it a bit, you do have a few different routes you can go. The one area where the Ryzen 3 3100 will help is in non-gaming scenarios in CPU-intensive multi-threaded applications like video editing or design work. If you are building a gaming PC that you will use for more CPU-intensive tasks, it would probably make sense to go with the Ryzen 3 3100 or even dropping down on the GPU and trying to stretch the budget to get a Ryzen 5 3600 into the build. But if your goal is to get as much in-game performance as possible out of your build, we think opting for an Intel Core i3-10100 and using the extra money to upgrade the GPU is the best route to go. If you are interested in building this PC as is or a modified version of it, we've included links to the parts in the description below. Just note that those are affiliate links and we will receive a commission if you purchase anything after clicking on them. Obviously, we appreciate any support, but you can also just go directly to Amazon or Newegg or any other online retailer and find your parts that way as well. I should also add that computer component prices change and parts do go out of stock on an hourly basis. And so if some of the components listed below are no longer available or the prices change significantly on them, you can check out our corresponding guide on techguided.com, which we've linked to below for the most up-to-date part list for this build. In any case, that will do it for this video. Thank you to everyone who watched. If you like our content, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Take care and I'll see y'all next time.